All right, let's start with updates from West Asia. Israeli police used water cannons to disperse protesters in Jerusalem, calling for new elections. Now, protesters tried marching towards Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's house after a demonstration outside the Knesset. Now, protesters are demanding immediate elections and the release of remaining hostages. Police have arrested at least nine people. Many Israelis are accusing Netanyahu of putting political interests ahead of everything else. The demonstration came after Netanyahu dissolved the influential war cabinet that is tasked with steering the war in Gaza. Earlier, Israeli high schoolers took to the streets to join the call to reach a deal that would see the release of all hostages from Gaza. It's important to remember the hostages as we set off to our summer holiday. When we're busy with other things and the situation in the country is at a standstill, as we all feel like we're there with the hostages in Gaza, as long as the hostages are there in Gaza, we won't stop for a moment until we raise awareness to this. Meanwhile, in Gaza, eight Palestinians have been killed by Israeli fires. Merchants and civil guards waited for commercial trucks along the eastern road of the Gaza Strip. Hostilities are continuing in Rafah and southern Gaza despite the Israeli military's announcement of tactical pauses in operations to allow humanitarian aid to enter. The Israeli Defense Forces said that it has dismantled about half of Hamas fighting force in Rafah, killing at least 550 gunmen in the area. The Israeli military has claimed to have eliminated Hezbollah militant Muhammad Mustafa Ayub in the Sela area in southern Lebanon. The IDF said that Ayub was an important operator in the rocket and missile department of Hezbollah's Nasser unit. This comes as a U.S. special envoy arrived in Israel and met with Israeli leaders in an attempt to avoid further escalation between Israel and Lebanon. The envoy met with Israeli President Isaac Herzog and Prime Minister Netanyahu in Jerusalem to advance efforts to avoid further escalation along the blue line between Israel and Lebanon. Uh, any uh, questions regarding Amos Hochstein, uh, the proposals uh, should be put to um, the White House. Amos Hochstein is, of course, uh, President Biden's and the White House's um, envoy. Uh, look, we uh, want this to be resolved either diplomatically or militarily. The current state of affairs is not a sustainable reality. 5,000 rockets raining down on our north uh, making the North uninhabitable. This is not a sustainable reality.